Good morning kids, how are you? I have uploaded a video on this Shoemaker and the Elves and but uh, due to some technical issues it was uh, being blocked and also I deleted it. So let me tell you what Shoemaker and the Elves story is all about. It's a uh, old story, uh, old means it's uh, being so old that it was pub first published in the German magazine in 1894 and these the stories have literally 12 parts there are 12 different parts of this story where the elves elves let me tell you you know who are shoemakers the cobblers or the one who mend our shoes are known as shoemakers and elves are fictional characters fictional characters like uh, you might have seen in uh, films like harry potter if you have seen or uh, the hobbit or the lord of the rings if you have seen there are few characters which do have their ears pointed backwards something like uh, let me uh, show you here few characters with ears like this okay so these characters are fictional and they are termed as elves they are very tiny they are uh, dwarf if you use a particular word they are up to up for this height and they have some magical powers they have some magical powers through which they can do many things so in this story the story is about a shoemaker who is very poor and uh, the story begins on the notes uh, where the shoemaker is left with the amount of leather which is only sufficient to make one pair of shoe and his market is running down and he is not able to sell properly his shoes and he is running miserably out of money and out of food that night he was sitting and thinking what shall he do and he slept later in that night what happens mysteriously something happens and when the shoemaker woke up in the morning he found a pair of shoe mended and kept on the couch and those shoes were very beautiful and immediately by that time a customer comes and pay double the amount the shoe was he pays double the amount the shoe was and by that money he not only fulfill his household needs but he also goes to the market and purchase some more leather and again he keep that thing there now that night again it happens that the uh, elves comes and uh, again they uh, mend the shoes and the similar kind of shoes they make and it now happens continuously every night the shoemaker will purchase and keep leather there and there are a number of shoes the elves make and kept there and his business turns very bright and he sees a hike in his business and in the same time he also earns a handful of money he is now a happy person and also being rich now after being rich he tries to think that what actually is going on and one night he and his wife peep through the window shelf where they have kept the leather for the shoes to be mend later in that night this what they have seen was two mix, uh, fictional characters like uh, elves they come into their room and uh, they started dancing over the uh, complete room and uh, finally through dancing they mend their clo uh, shoe and they left but what uh, the shoemaker and his wife noticed that they were putting on rags rags uh, if i will uh, explain you it's uh, the word uh, in hindi if you say chithade or phate purane phate purane kapde wo pehne hue the so the wife of shoemaker thinks that they have uh, uh, she thinks that she that those elves have done so much for us they have uh, lifted us from the poverty line to above above it and they are now living happily and they have done nothing for the elves so what they do they go to the market and purchase a very valuable piece of cloth and shoemaker's wife she stitches very beautiful clothes and a pair of small pair of shoes which is made by the shoemaker and what they do they keep it over the table where they used to keep their uh, what do we say that leather the piece of leather where the shoemaker used to keep now what happens actually late in that night the shoemaker uh, the elves come and they found those uh, clothes and shoes kept for them and what they do they put it on made the last pair of shoe and they left 
they left forever they didn't come after that night and the shoemaker and his wife didn't regretted it why because uh, they were happy enough and they were prosperous enough now to live a happy and uh, prosperous life further in their future and they were not suffering from poverty anymore so students what uh, message do we get from this story is that when someone does good to you you should repay it with good so you can write down the word meaning given in the textbook and also uh, you will be followed up by the notes today itself you shall complete your copy and submit it by the day allotted till then thank you